welcome to another Oakmont Esports stream. Uh, coming at you this week, we are playing against Hillmar uh, High School's varsity team. This is League of Legends, and the uh, game is already starting to get going in draft. Uh, before we do that though, let's just recap what we did last week. Uh, last week we played versus the, uh, let's see, Linwood High School Asgardian Vikings. We had a real tough first game. Uh, second game was going way better. We had a pretty crazy Nasus up on top lane, kind of just hyper up. Uh, unfortunately, we went super late, and we uh, we got the Nasus picked off, kind of playing a little too far forward. Got the rest of the team aced, and then they got a super fast Nexus off that. So we actually were ahead in the second game, but overall o 2 um, We also played against the Wheatland Union High School uh, Pirates uh, in Super Smash on Thursday. Uh, that was an 3 game for us. Uh, Mason played up first in the delivery code. Uh, had a little bit of lag issue. Um, but then we also had uh, Andrew and JoJo play too. So they said they were good games all around. We're not quite able to stream our Super Smash yet. Uh, but when we do, uh, we'll get you guys a Thursday stream as well. Anyway, looking at this week, uh, we are up against, like I said, uh, Hillmar High School. They have a very experienced platinum player, they have a silver player, and then they have a couple um, silver players in the rest of the roster. So we're not quite sure what to expect here. Uh, bands going out, let me get you that info in just a sec. Uh, let's see. Nope, just kidding. Haha, <laughs> monitor three. Yeah, I should probably crop that and get that zoomed in a bit better. Anyway, um, yeah, you can see some bands going out. Looks like we're prioritizing banning out their Yasuo, uh, given that's the, the main champ of their flat player. Uh, and then uh, Vlad and Syndra are also target bans towards them, but they don't get played nearly as often. The other player we're able to scout uh, does play some Bane and some Sivir. So basically, we're just kind of going off just the available scouting information we have. It's not a particular strategy around this. Um, and then on our end, let's see. Oh, by the way, we're on the right side. Uh, left side is uh, Hilmar. So we're playing red side. Hilmar is blue side. Uh, so it looks like we're going to have a Yone versus Vex matchup in mid lane. That should be pretty spicy. Uh, we're also going to see uh, Matt bringing out his new Samira. Haven't seen that yet in a competitive match. Um, but him and Cody have been practicing down in bot lane, dealing with a variety of different champs, including like a, a poke and bully lane. And that Alistar is something new we haven't seen from Cody yet. So that'll be real interesting. Meanwhile, I think we got Akira jungling on Gragas, and I think we've got Kian up in top lane on set. And overall, it looks like Oakmont should have a pretty aggressive early game comp. Uh, the Jarvan on their scene offsets that a little bit, uh, but I think the Yone and the Mordekaiser will scale a little bit harder than the set and the Vex do, respectively. So overall, this should be kind of an aggressive bloody game trying to get an advantage while, while things are fresh and then just kind of snowball that into adjacent lanes. Um, yeah, and unfortunately I don't have a ton more info about this particular matchup, so we're just going to have to see how it plays out and go from there. Uh, in the meantime, if we run into a zero minute spectator delay like we did last week, we're just going to pause that right away and let three minutes go by. And uh, yeah, hopefully we see somebody drift the Rift Herald. I know uh, Keen is up for that. I'm not sure if the cure has ever pulled that off. That'd be fun to see though. There we go, Spectre Delay 251. That's perfect. Cool. And for some reason, Mobilytics isn't showing up on this PC here. That's really weird. Yeah, weird. He's asking for a desktop installer. And throwing some error codes. So we're having some trouble with our PC. Hopefully that gets going here eventually. All right, uh, as far as lane to lane goes, I kind of like the mid lane. I think uh, that the Vex into the Yone is going to be able to catch him out and chunk him for a good chunks of damage there. Whereas the Yone's trading pattern, I think, is a bit more predictable than Vex's. So I think Toby's got an opportunity to kind of play off his mechanics there and try to get some kills. And then the kind of ulti is able to catch people at long range too, which suits our fighting style for the Oakmont Berserkers. Uh, same thing, Dragus, I think I like that pick, just got a little more versatility than the Jarvan does, although Jarvan's just a, a very straightforward early game for jungler. And hopefully top lane turns into an island, because I don't really want to see that Mordekaiser out and about in a team fight, although the peel on set has got to be arguably just as good. 
Oh, you guys are probably bombarded with uh, music right now. Let me adjust some audio levels. Sorry about that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see how this one's going to play out. Uh oh, let's see. Oh, Mobilitics is loading. Maybe this will work. It's loading on two screens, which is weird. All right. There we go. So yeah, as far as matchups go, the Mordekaiser is favored over the set just as a stock matchup. However, with uh, Keen up there in top lane, um, not sure how that's going to go down. Keen's one of our most skilled and experienced players. Uh, the Vex is favored over the Yone. Samir is favored over the Ash. The Alistar is favored over the Swain. So the only place that's kind of more of a wash or maybe leading towards the, the Jarvan, the jungle position. Overall, I'd say that Oakwan is winning draft here. That's pretty cool. And... Let's see if this pulls up any interesting stuff. That that top lane match. Oh, just kidding. Is Dum Dum headed to top? I don't know. I thought he was their mid laner. I think Mobilitics might have this wrong. Uh, yeah, this is all this is all confused. Don't worry about that. All right. Well, let's here switch over to game mode. And mastery level. Yep, that Yone is going to be pretty tricky. It's going to be up to Toby's lightning mechanics and try to keep that guy at bay. Otherwise, uh, only experience on their side is on Swain. And we also have pretty limited experience, but uh, top lane with the set and the Mordekaiser. Even though Mordekaiser, I think, is slightly favored there, that could be a route. We'll see what happens. Uh, Keen's been able to... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, I think that's Keen top lane. Let me double check. No, just kidding. That's Toby top lane. Oh, man. Sorry, my players are... Okay. So, Keen is jungle. Toby's in top lane. It's going to be up to Toby to fight the Mordekaiser. And then Akira is in mid lane trying to hold the Yone at bay. Um, so, that's probably going to be our most challenging lane. Other lanes, I think we're, we're probably, at least just from scouting info, looking okay. And is it gonna load? Zero percent loading. Great. Oh, that's a cool new Ash skin. I haven't seen that. Shoot. crash sorry guys i'm gonna go to backup mode here uh while i try to figure out what else i can do all right good news able to reconnect there here ah sorry Summoner's All right, looks like we are stacking red side here. Um, we'll see if anybody steps out there. We have a CC. I don't think we have any substantial CC to catch somebody out. I think this is more of a defensive move. And again, Oakmont is red side. Kilmar is blue side. I haven't checked out the new, uh, Minions new has uh, support items. Here we go. World Atlas. All right. And on the other side, uh, looks like the same thing. So both of the supports should be getting a fair amount of gold from that item. I heard that's getting nerfed pretty soon. It's because there's a lot of, um, 
Yeah, a lot of people doing double support instead of support ADC. No, I think Akira is going to be letting this wave push to him, given that he doesn't want to really go in and fight a uh, range, you know, range versus melee matchup against the early Yona. Uh, Dum Dum's pushing pretty fast. And uh, should be able to ward, maybe go track our jungler if he wants to. Uh, meanwhile, support, or sorry, uh, top lane with Toby, something kind of aggressive here. And uh, I'm surprised we didn't try to trade back there. Uh, Cody needs to kind of get over and um, since they're playing away from the bush, that positions helping pushing towards the middle of the lane, but I don't think that's actually accomplishing any goals here. All right, Vex is catching waves. Yep, they're tracking the jungler. I should see him on Raptors right now. Uh, that's team coming on by. And then in the meantime, we're pushing this in pretty hard, and that Mordekaiser is in trouble. We'll probably have to take the Jarvan and come up and save. Oh, first blood, and does he get away with it? He does. All right, let's go, Oakmont. Now, we got to get out of there, right? Can the set just go face check the jungler on half health here? I'm not sure. In the meantime, looks like Akira is playing around that Yone. And it looks like our bot lane's getting pushed in a little. I would love to see them get up there and, and play aggressive on this rebound. We talked about that a bit last week. Hopefully the wave mechanics are slowly coming along. Mordekaiser is back in lane, scoping things out. Uh, looks like... Actually, it looks like the jungler took an incredibly fast path to try to get to Scuttle and got there a little bit early. So Jarvan did skip three of their camps getting there to hit that, that Scuttle Crab on time. Whereas uh, the Gragas is able to contest that too and then get out of there safely. Uh, but it's going to have to escape from this because he got a 1v2. It does give Toby the advantage, advantage to be able to push there a little bit. And that's got to be frustrating. That Jarvan is now 16 CS behind at this point. Um, and needs to really kind of pick up the tempo there. Our bot lane's playing super safe. This is not a freeze, it will push the other way. So hopefully they go ahead and start landing some poke and some damage and might as well get that thing shut. And uh, yeah, I, I almost, I almost wonder if we should get Cody on like a range damage support just so he can provide utility from the back line. But he is going to try to get up there and they, they have not warded this bush. So they're going to have to play around that. And if he gets too far out, but he's so far out of position. Okay, now, 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 they go, they go, they go, they go on the ash, they go on the ash. On the ash, go on the ash. He's isolated. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. You can do it. Go on the ash. Oh, okay. This is now us getting poked without having being able to go. There was an opportunity to isolate that ash there. Um, but uh, Matt's not not going for that when Cody's actually zoned their support off. We we had an isolated 2v1 there for a set. Could have been cool. All right, Gragas is going to be stacking these Void Grubs. Uh, looks like uh, Toby's taking some damage there, but I think he's just chilling, kind of letting this freeze. Oh man, that that is an actual freeze right there. Oh, that is frustrating. And uh, CS in top lane is now 38 to 14. So Oakmont is starting to slowly build up a gold lead. Got first Blood being the, the main contributor, but CS differentials in a couple lanes are starting to open up. While Akira is managing to hold that even. Uh, ooh! But the Yone got the last Void Grab. I'm confused. I guess I missed what happened there. Uh, Yone, by the way, already level 6. So is going to be able to go around and shove and mess with the jungle. Alright, our bot lane, I think, is still trying to freeze. Not quite sure why. What we really want is uh, some kind of a timing to recall. And maybe just waiting for our jungle is going to work, but the ranged poke coming out is just gradually whitting away at our health bars. 
And Samira and Alistar needs to be at full health to be able to go and engage. Uh, those those are aggressive in your face champs. You don't need to be sitting at half health here. Too. You can. Uh, looks like Seth is slowly recovering some health there. Trying to maintain that freeze. It is starting to push now. He's gonna he's gonna switch to a slow push in a sec here. And uh oh, Yone is roaming down. This could be dangerous. We've got the Dragon roaming down. Uh, the Gragas is in place to help out, but we're having to run here. It's just overall bad news. And here comes Yone coming for a dive. Should be able to get a double or maybe even triple kill out of that dive. And that is a lot of gold going over to their platinum player. That was a small disaster. Uh, well done with that that counter that run there from him on the Hillmar side. Ouch. And that swings the gold the other way there. Now Hilmar has a small advantage. Good play. Uh, are they going to try to convert this into a dragon? I don't think so. Alright, I'm hoping that that Botman synergy picks up here. I really would like to see some clean engages. Uh, we should be playing much more aggressively and not standing off at range and just trying to poke out that Ash. We're going to lose that just because of the, the range and the CC. Top there, placing some wards. Not a bad idea. And uh, here is going to have his work cut out for him, staying even with his gunny in lane. Got another possible roam topside here? Or is that just uh, placing some wards and trying to keep up with vision? And we got a very sneaky Drake, which I like. Uh, everybody's topside. You know, Jarvan's going to kind of be clearing camps here for a little while. So they're just going to ninja this thing. And it seems like the Gragas is going to have no problem at all burning that down. Do we... Uh-oh. Now our, it's our support that's kind of broken off. Uh-oh. Gank coming in. Toby's going to run. Here we go. Oh, man. That Mordekaiser is so low, though. If that Mordekaiser re-engages, I bet Toby could do his whole giant shield thing. And Wait, does he... Did he do that already? Let me check. Oh, it's on cooldown. Okay, he must have already used that to escape. Oh! We got a ferocious trade going on here. Dum Dum takes it in the 1v1 against the Kira and is now up 5-0-0 uh, with uh, Kraken Slayer built. This Yone is going to be extremely dangerous. Toby's just trying to get a clean crash. He'll take the recall. Let's see what's happening in bot lane. Still kind of getting poked out. Still kind of just sitting here. And uh, yeah, Cody is... Got zero follow-up from that. There's no synergy happening in bot lane right now. And he's also kind of running in a direction where he's not going to be able to relink up with his ADC. This is not good position. Hopefully well, this gets better as the game progresses. Alright. Uh, Jarvan's trying to take some Void Grubs here. If Gragas gets a notification on that first kill, he may head over. But those Void Grubs, at least on this patch, do a ton of damage. I hear that's getting uh, nerfed back down pretty soon. And so he's actually backing off with half health. Um, I'm not sure that Gragas wants to engage on those right now either for the exact same reason. And a couple times I've tried that uh, in a jungle game on my own. Yeah, I have taken a fair amount of damage against the Void Grubs. Especially if there's an ally. If there's not an ally there, helping to burn him down. And this is now... Oh, wow! Wow, Toby turned that! I mean, that was our use. That was full, you know, passive activate on the Mordekaiser. But Seth's just got that horrendous shield. And that big body slam. To be able to turn that around coming out of the uh, underworld there. Right. Got a small wave to catch. It's not a bad recall timing. I mean, that is CSing decently. He is up on CS against them. He's able to bleed out um, a hit from the Ash. 
Although Ash is at this point taking plates, and I'm not sure that Matt can aggressively push them off the tower. Hopefully he sits here and takes a recall though. And we got a fight breaking out here in the meantime. We got the Yone coming to try and support uh, contesting those. And uh, I feel like Akira is potentially in trouble here. Um, has a step way out of his room. And yeah, Yone's able to do that. That was that was bad positioning on, on our part. Um, given the huge 7-0-0 lead that Yone's got. And a 700 gold bounty. I bet our team is eyeing that. And I'm surprised how how uh, Toby's able to just tank a little damage and push that all the way in. That's interesting. Alright. Looks like uh, Keen is going to be trying that again while the, uh, the Yone takes a recall. It's a good time to do that. Dragon's clear across the map. And uh, one thing I'm noticing is though that our recalls... Oh, okay. Our recalls are pretty well synced up on bot lane now. That's good. They were recalling separately before. It helps with tempo. And cool. So we're a couple more void clips. I like it. Uh-oh. Here comes the Yone. Then he should get out of there. There we go. Uh, Jarvan positioning either just to invade our jungle or, or maybe for a gank here. Looks like they were thinking about a dive. And uh, Kira's not careful. He could get caught out here. He's going to get caught out here. That Yone's got him. Uh, can he blast Cone over? I think he can. Oh no! Oh yes, good flash, good flash. You might still die. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, he was he was dead a long time ago, honestly. Well, there's something happened here. Bob. All right, here we go. We got Cody going in for a stun. We got the Gragas landing a barrel. Swain's hit ulti, but uh, should be able to still make that work. We got a TP coming in from top. So here comes the set. Set is just going to dump through this guy backwards if he needs to. Doesn't look like the need to though. Okay. At that point, uh, what else is happening here? They're able to get a kill in the ADC bot lane. The Yone is still a threat though. Like the Yone can pick off any one of these uh, weaker players here. So yeah, good, good angry reg thing. Do not go close to that Yone. Just avoid. No, no, no. Walk away from the Yone. Don't go that way. That way's bad. You're not getting that shut down. Okay, 4v1 maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe not though. That's the worst part. Maybe not a 4v1. Here's the problem. Okay, okay, one for one. But it took four of us to take him down. I'd almost say just avoid it and play around him. We don't need to pick that fight if we're doing everything else on it. Anyway, it's been a good couple minutes for Oakmont. We're back up in gold. Kind of close the gap on those kills here. Uh, Ash is poking a little bit, but I don't see any way in which they can test this. I think our jumpers got to go. Yeah. No, no contest there. That's good. In the meantime, trying to get two objectives at once. I do think this could be a bit of a problem. I don't know if Toby... If they realize this is happening. Sure. Okay, they don't. Jarvan's headed the other way. Mordecai's is just pushing the moves. Okay, so chalk that one up to kind of lack, lack of map win. So I do think a team one there could take it or force Toby off that. Speaking of map awareness, uh, we got a little bit of vision kind of through here. Looks like they've got uh, one more down kind of there. So. Alright. Alright. Oakmine's doing okay on objectives here. In the meantime, though, uh, Mordekaiser is plomping away at this tower. Uh, does Set have enough health to come back and, and deal with that? I think with a two level difference there, I think this is yes. Oh, let's go! I missed that! Okay, we're gonna go re replay that real quick here. Just a sec. I wanna see that scene in action. I haven't seen this yet.
There we go. There's those uh, Super Smash Brothers fighting game mechanics coming out. Cool. All right, jumping back ahead. All right, looks like uh, we need to push a little map presence presence up towards uh, top side. They'll be taking the recall. Dragus is clearing. Vex is not venturing too far from the safety of her tower, hopefully. Um, that young man. And, uh, yeah, Cody needs to just concede this until his ADC is around. That, that tower, by the way, is extremely low. So we do want to keep that alive. Uh, Jarvan, not, not much they can do down there. Probably just keep clearing. And uh, I guess I missed the Vex getting hit. So it looks like he and Will come catch that way. And with this Rage tower going down, our strong. bot lane is backing up. I don't think this is a completely bad thing. I think that does give the Gragas some interesting angles here. If they're able to, if they have to be able to push that up, um, could make it tricky for them. But if we have to deal with that Yoni on the side, that's going to be a different story. Nice kill from Toby. And Toby, of course, has also taken a tower. Since there is no pressure and he has Rift Herald, I kind of want to see if we get two towers out of this. That would be sweet. Um, with Yoni recalling, probably to deal with just that, actually. That's probably a save the second tower recall. Nice! Bear hole blasts him out. I don't think that... Was that on purpose? I can't tell. And, uh, yeah. Wait, we got one more in us? No, okay. Yeah, that's a that's a fair time to get out of it. Now, Toby's 13. Yone's 13. Is that a fair fight? I don't think so. But if it was like a 2 one maybe. Ooh, that was a nice collapse attempt by Oakman. Are they going to get the Jarvan or are they going to stay on target on the Yone here? Ooh, a lot of damage coming through. Can Cody heal for the Yone? No, not quite. So, the Yone does take out a Samira. Cody has a pretty good peel attempt. The Yone is low enough now, though. He's in pretty big trouble. And uh, Gragas is able to clean that up. Nice job, Toby and Keen. Well done, Rome. Kind of finish off the last of that way. All right, looks like they're continuing to keep their bot lane bot. I was kind of expecting to see a rotation at this point. Um, yeah. And although our bot lane's tower is down, they did fine on CS and kills. Items are actually doing okay. So I would say those lanes are about even, whereas uh, top and jungle were winning. Uh, mid were down a fair amount, but I think we can easily offset that to somewhere else on the map. So I think Oakmont's in pretty good shape overall. And of course, shout out to Hilmar with three new players. You can play. level disparity and stuff there. I'm not sure there's anything the swing can do to get out of there. This makes it a great time to transition towards Drake. Uh, do we have TP on our mid? We don't. Okay. So this might be a bit of a ragged engagement. Of course, their top lane is TP is down too, so it's basically just the numbers that you see there. And if their jungler can get caught out at the beginning of this fight, that would be a great way to start battling over Drake. Um, we just gotta... Watch out for that unit. Yeah, I think we start this up. That's just moving on over. If they continue to keep Mordecai's your top, I'm sure they can get something done up there. But if we have two Drakes already, I'd be happy to trade a tower for a Drake at this point. Oh, oh, damage is coming through. Ouch, 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 brutal. Brutal, ouch. Okay, Dragon, but we lost, uh, we lost a mid in the process. Are we going to pick up a counter kill or are we going to disengage? 
because I am a little worried about this. Life in the way. I don't think you can successfully heal for this mirror though. She's gonna... Oh, she's gonna make it out. That's amazing. And uh, Toby's now super overextended. Will he get out of it? I don't think so. Okay, we got. We just gotta leave, guys. We gotta leave. We're down. That was a 1v3. So I like getting Drake, but that was pretty expensive. And uh, they may be able to get a second tower off this. Oh, I, I like that attempt. Red team's turret has been destroyed. Yeah. More money for the owner. Uh, he's got two items and boots. We're on a third item soon. That guy's gonna hit hard. Pretty quiet moment here. Uh, while that's going on, quick shout out to all the people that support us. Uh, so, District Tech for all this work on firewalls and client issues and helping us with the computer lab. Really appreciate you guys getting the new TVs in for the Smash players. Uh, Oakmont Parents Club, um, always supporting us, trying to help us fundraise, stuff like that. Um, school administration, keeping our program going. And then, uh, as always, uh, Esports Fire Up Lounge. Uh, sorry, yeah. Fire Up Esports Lounge here in Roseville uh, for hosting us whenever we need a, a spot to play with that. Ooh, ouch. Instant delete. That is rough. Is that kind of a slow point? Ooh, actually, I think I like this rotation. Uh, getting the Vex to start to push here. Uh, I don't know who wins that matchup. But I do know that Vex can land poke from and the Mordekaiser has got a finite range. So as long as the Vex plays at range, I think they're probably okay. What are we doing? Besides avoiding Yoni. I do that when I play Mord 2, always at the edge of that E range. I almost feel like the E animation is deceiving. Oh, can Set pick this up? No, Yone is close behind. Probably not safe to do that. Alright, this has been like a couple minutes with very little overall pressure. Mordekaiser may have finally overextended though. We've got a potential for a 4 to 2 or 4 to 3, depending on how fast the move is come in. And uh, so, yep, there goes one pick. Let's see if we can get a second pick. It would be great if the Yone committed into a 1v4. I think he has a pretty good map sense though that, that that's all a bad idea. I don't think he takes Baron on this, but I could be wrong. Probably the Okay, here comes the Yone. Good drop already. Got shut down! Oh, no, that was us getting shut down. I'm sorry. When we pick up one of their players, but with our health so low, Yone is able to clean up multiple players there. And I don't think our set wins this. Yone is just scaling too hard. Yone has got level 16 now, and that is an ace for the other team. Yeah, I had a bad feeling about that Baron. This Yone is just too fed. And they might be able to, yeah, be able to bring that down from the art absence. Very little to no problem. And fortunate thing about this is Yoni's not building Ice Steel. Uh, I just had uh, his Death Dance instead. Oh, yeah, with Mordecai's and Yoni, actually, that Baron is going down pretty darn fast. That's unfortunate. That set us back to a, what, 4,000 gold? And, uh. 
I mean, the, I, I guess the good news for Oakwan is that the vast majority of the other team's scaling has already happened. With that Yone player is now, you know, two levels up on our top laner and four levels up on everybody else. That is pretty much just shy of a full build. Uh, just finished Jakshas, uh, the Protean. That, that thing is going to make the Yone basically impossible to kill for a while. So I think if we engage on this dragon fight, we either steal and run or we lose. I, I don't see us able to deal with that at the moment. And this is where I actually think that sending in a sacrificial jungle to steal and otherwise just pushing out top lane and trying to get a pick somewhere might be a better idea. Because as soon as we commit, this Yone is going to swoop in and steal it all. So not just steal it all, but like actually take us out, you know? Okay, I like clearing vision. I like threatening, but I don't think we actually fight. And the problem is we're not getting anything done while this is happening. I'd love to see our waves pushed out. We're even taking turret damage up here, you know? I do like the idea of killing the Okay, okay, we just did. Um, yeah, it's not easy to Yeah, that's that's what is gonna happen. Alright, and now it's down a little more gold. They pick up the first bit of the game. That in and of itself is not a problem. But I just want to see us pushing some waves and, and picking up towers here instead of trying to fight the Yone. We still gotta play this. We're not ready for that late game, you know, 5v5. We gotta play around the Yone. Just catch waves. Play safe. Pressure the map wherever Yone isn't. Um, because the rest of the team I think you can take. It's that one character is so fit. 22 and 5. That is crazy. Possible catch on the swing here. Uh, I don't know if we're able to chase him. I don't think so. Oh, I'm wrong. Maybe we are. Just kidding. Spike comes through. Oh, nice frozen air from Ash, though, to save the team. Alright, meantime, we got our bot lane rotated mid. Cody's probably creeping up here to put on some vision. Feel fine about uh, Akira playing into this Mordekaiser. And I think we see the Yone mid. Good, so we're playing nice and defensive and backing off there. And in the meantime, this is what I want to see. This is a good move. I should be able to take this tower just fine. And uh, the, the 1v2 threat potential of Topia is fine against the Swain and the Ash. I think he can handle that fight no problem. So by forcing two players to come to him and respond to this, we're able to do something somewhere else. Good. Here it kind of turns into threat and backing off. I like it. Could even go through steal some camps. Totally be fine. And I actually kind of think he's almost just baiting them into a bush. Oh, although Swain Ultim is a thing. And the 3v1 is a bit much. Alright, so Toby one for ones it in that side lane. In the meantime though, I like how much pressure he's able to put down there. That gives us the ability to do something somewhere else. Including the end this tower. We just need time to catch up on all hit level 18. If we do that, we're back in the same. Yeah, and uh, you know, CS numbers for our jungle and top lane look good. Bot lane is even on CS relatively even on kills too so again it's really just that mid lane deficit oh yeah you are not safe Rex. get out of there Yone would love to drive that tower all right uh i think if samira can close she wins this. but i think if ash can kite that's a different story Playing into a wave could be a, a bit of a thing too. Ash with a one level advantage. And uh, looks like maybe a slight uh, item advantage. Not a big thing. Uh, 
All right, blue team is resetting two of their players. Looks like you're gonna go right into a second Baron if they can. That'll help with extending the team-wide gold lead and the ability to pressure lanes if they get it. Uh, whereas Oakmont, we don't have a dragon coming up anytime too soon. So if we give Baron, uh, it'll make getting that fourth Drake a lot harder. And uh, honestly, like them taking Baron and us taking Drake will be just take a win for Oakmont strategically. Love what we're doing in bot lane. I want to see us uh, take this tower here. Who is TPing over? It's the Mord. Uh, 14 versus 15. Yeah, I don't think we can pressure the Mord. That's a pretty good side. Let's get the R up. And this is going to be a problem. To try to take out our jungle, disable the one shot, and burn Baron down at the same time. And this is pretty rough. Set in the meantime, though, making a great pick up on that turret down there. I love that. Nice play, Toby. That was good match. Same thing right here. Uh, nice play for Akira in top. And Akira can see everybody on that board. Like, basically, all five champions are accounted for. No, no, no. This is actually a great time to push into their base if we can just hold this tower. Like, if, if two or three characters can hold here and the other characters are putting in pressure on side lanes. That's actually a good situation. Uh, big question is if though, like if Yone darts forward and does a ton of damage and two people just get deleted, then we can hold. Oh, come on guys. Guys can get a little oh, Okay, now we gotta retreat all the way to the last one. And it's looking pretty desperate for Oakmont. We're backing all the way up here. We gotta hold here. Get that turret taken out. And cannon, I mean, sorry. We take Swain, burn him through a whole bunch of lifesteal to do it. Uh, Yone is in the follow-up, uh, but damage actually has come through by the Oakmont team pretty well to be able to defend so far. Problem is Mordekaiser is off on his own, pushing top lane as well. We're going to have two out of three ways to push all the way here. Oh no, that Yone combo comes in, but uh, Keen is able to go gold, uh, hit Pazonias, and uh, basically make it through without too much damage. There's so much damage coming to that turret though. This is last this effort for Oakmont. If we don't hit them now, it's all over. It doesn't matter. Here is the 100% committed. Wow, shut down. All right, amazing gold. Good work. A ton of gold going over ADC. Are they able to finish this off? Mordekaiser has now gone to the netherworld. Oh no, just kidding. He's just chunking away at stuff. And we're gonna have to delete him fast because if he gets just a couple more hits, nice push away. Oh. But he's able to jump back in and take that. Alrighty, first game goes to Komar. GG, well played. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to stream the second game. But if you guys want to, uh, you can actually check out the second game via Hilmar stream. Uh, they should be doing that up on YouTube Live right about now. So if you guys want to go search, you might be able to find the second game if you're still interested. And we appreciate guys, uh, appreciate you guys tuning in and watching and supporting our team. So uh, here's end game stats. Shout out to Dum Dum 420. That was a pretty crazy game. Uh, you just look at the graph. That's the damage. End of story. So hopefully second game goes better. It is a best out of three. Oakmont's gonna try to turn this around, deal with that aggressive mid laner, and then see what else we can do everywhere else. So you guys have a great one, and I will sign out. <laughs>